Growth Transparency Group, the Connected Development, has expressed worry over the lack of trust on government by citizens. The group, during the launch of Project Trust, expected to help citizens build trust on government, also train several youth across 36 states of the country. The executive director of the Connected Development, Amza Lawa, during the project launch in Abuja, says that there is a need for government to ensure transparency and accountability in governance, which in turn builds trust of the citizen. Today, Connected Development has brought representatives from the six geopolitical zone in Nigeria um, for a retreat to build their capacity for the next two days, because we're starting a new project called Project Trust. We believe that from the aftermath of the campaigns and elections, we must deepen trust in our society because the most important ingredient of every democratic society is trust. And today we've seen that the Nigerian people have lost trust in their government and the politicians are, are continuing to lose trust with the people. So for us, this project would help to build back public trust galvanize public interest in ensuring better service delivery across grassroots communities in Nigeria. For the past three years, we've worked in Kaduna State, uh, engaging policy makers, engaging grassroots communities, and even tracked over 9 billion naira. And we've taken lessons in working in Kaduna State, and we want to scale on this in all the geopolitical zone in Nigeria, having people change the narrative or most importantly documenting needs assessment that inform government policies and practices that affect everyday Nigeria across the grassroots. Project Trust is that ingredient that would ensure that one, civil society, media, the Nigerian people and politicians can sit and have frank conversation in a town hall meeting using the skills and knowledge that will be transferred to these people in, in this two days retreat that whereby in another 12 months, we'll start seeing some drastic change where when government is budgeting, they would ensure that they document needs assessment. Where we would see lawmakers, for instance, undertake constituency project, not because there's budget for constituency project, but because the constituents have given feedback on their needs and aspirations, and these resources are channeled through that. And we've built tools. So we've built tools on project monitoring, uh, joint joint project monitoring of this constituency project with the media and civil society and I've even signed an MOU with a sitting lawmaker hoping that the National Assembly would adopt this project monitoring and nomination tool so that our constituency project funding can then be channeled to the people at the grassroots rebuilding trust and ensuring that people take the importance of democracy. A bit about this project that we have done in Cardinal State and we have achieved so much impact and success and the goal of this project is not just to replicate but to ensure that citizens are able to trust their government and how can this trust be generated. It means that the government have to be accountable, transparent and to build such we need to build a community of practice and that's one of our major aims for this project. We currently have community of practice across the six geopolitical zones, the six states that we brought here today are representing different community of lives, different walks of life both the CDCs, media, all of them are present to see how they can build a community of practice that would ensure that citizens are part of governance processes. Policies that ought to work are implemented effectively for the citizens and community members so everyone can enjoy the dividend of democracy. That's one of our major goals. Even looking at disability um, act also, we're ensuring that this act is properly implemented for states where it has been passed as a law. We're also looking at how this policy could become a law in states where it is yet to be passed. We have learned a lot of things about how we can be able to um, use the community of practice um, to demand to engage citizens in the grassroots communities, to demand accountability from the government, to ensure that there is a trust between the government and the citizens. Because um, based on the training we learned, that um, we must build a trust between the government and the citizens for them to be able to understand what this government is doing to demand accountability because they are aware there is no trust between the government and the citizens, there is no accountability and there is no transparency in the process. Yeah, the selected um, community of practice uh, code across people living with disabilities, space-based organizations, um, civil society organizations, um, 
media. And these are selected based on their interest in the um, issue around the accountability in the Yodo state. And the expectation is to see how they can be able to get a platform for them to be able to leverage on the platform to demand accountability from the duty bearers.